Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the DC Universe Signature Collection, Saint Walker. That's right, the first member of the Blue Lantern Corps finally gets an action figure done in Mattel's DC Universe classic style. He comes in the same style new window box packaging that we've seen with all of the Club Infinite Earths figures. You can see it's got the Signature Collection logo at the top, and then the window box fully showcases the figure within. Now on both the left hand side of the box and on the back, we are treated to some really nice artwork of the Saint Walker character. Alongside that artwork on the back of the box, we also have a bio that gives you some backstory on the character. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a look at this figure outside of the packaging. Saint Walker here is very cool. There is a lot of uniqueness to this one that I think you guys are really going to love, because I know that I do. First of all, let's go ahead and take a look at his design. He's got a really great sculpt in the face there. He's got a very, very unique, very alien looking head, of course. He's got that long head tentacle that hangs down in the back, and you can see there are some nice little sculpted details, such as the lines going along his face. Love the shape of his mouth and the little black beady eyes. Now he's wearing the unique Blue Lantern costume there, so it's got that nice deep dark blue alongside with the black. And you can see the designs are very cool going across the chest and the arms. He's got the little gauntlets around his wrists, and the way that the blue is designed on the legs. It's a very cool design, very nice, very crisp and clean paint job all the way through. And then of course positioned on his right hand is his Blue Lantern ring. So here's one of the things that's really great about this guy. The design of his whole body is a lot different than what we've seen with some of the previous DC Universe Classics figures. Just standing him alongside Hal Jordan here, you can see the difference in the design of the sculpt of his body. He's much more slender, much more lean looking, and he even stands a bit taller than Hal Jordan. So he's definitely got that very lanky, very alien look to his body type. He's also got a difference in his articulation, so let's go ahead and do the breakdown there and take a look at that. First things first, he does have one articulation cut in that tentacle hanging off the back of his head, so you can swivel that around for some really great poses with the tentacle being moved around. Other than that, his head is able to turn left and right and has a really great range of motion moving up and down. He has ball joints in the shoulder, so you can roll the arms all the way around, move them upwards and downwards. He's got a swivel at the bicep, and at the elbows he has double joints, so something that's pretty uncommon in the DCUC figures. Then of course he has a swivel at the wrist, and also a hinge at the wrist, so his hand can move forwards and backwards. He's got the standard torso cut articulation, a swivel at the waist, he's got the hinge joints at the thigh, so the legs move all the way outwards, forwards, and backwards, a swivel at the thigh cut, again, double joints in the knees, something else that's not common on DCUC, and then he's got the standard ankle joint for the foot moving up and down. So as you can see, lots of great articulation on this guy. I know we haven't seen a lot of that double joints except for in figures like the new Blue Beetle and stuff like that, but otherwise it's just something that's not so common in DCUC. So along with that, the hinge joints and the wrists there, and the way that the head is able to both move up and down very well, you can get some pretty great poses out of Saint Walker here. So as an added accessory, he also comes with the Blue Lantern Power Battery. Uh, it's the exact same sculpt we've seen with like the Green Lantern one. Uh, it's just done in this really nice metallic blue paint job. However, we run into the same problem that we seem to run into with a lot of Mattel's lantern figures. Uh, his left hand is sculpted very open. You can see he does have his fingers curled a little bit, so you can kind of get the handle of that lantern to hang on his hand, but it's going to take a little bit of patience and work to get it in there, and then of course he doesn't even look like he's holding on to it. I really wish Mattel would give us figures that could actually hold on to the lanterns properly if they're going to come with a lantern as an accessory. So there you go guys, there's a look at the first Blue Lantern, Saint Walker. Overall, this is a very cool figure. I'm very happy with his design. I think he's got a great paint job, and I love all of the little things like the added articulation in the knees, and the hands, and the elbows. All of that makes for a very great figure. The only downfall, of course, is that Lantern, once again, can't be held very well, which we've seen with some other Lantern figures, but otherwise, I think he's a great figure, and if you're a fan of the Green Lantern universe, he's one that you'll definitely want to add to your collection. 
Now, Saint Walker was part of the Club Infinite Earth subscription and also went on sale on MattyCollector.com on January 15th. So, happy hunting, and until next time.